Hey everybody, today we are going to take a look at the only conflict to take place within the Shire prior to the Battle of Bywater during the Return of the King. As we learned in my previous video, the Hobbits were given permission in 1601 by King Argaleb II to settle the land that would come to be named the Shire. Within 30 years, nearly all the Hobbits of Middle-earth would live in the Shire, the exception being those of Smeagol's Hobbit folk east of the Misty Mountains. The Hobbits of the Shire would be generally untroubled for over 1100 years, despite the conflicts going on between the remnants of Arnor and the Witch King not terribly far away. For nearly 800 years after the Witch King was driven out of Eriador, this northern realm of Middle-earth was relatively quiet. In 2740, orcs of the Misty Mountains invaded several parts of Eriador. The rangers of the north, the remnants of the men of Arnor, fought many battles trying to hold them back, but a single contingent of orcs manages to reach the Shire. Seven years after the start of their invasion into Eriador, this band of orcs from Mount Graham enter the North Farthing. Bandabris Took, also known as Bull Roarer, lived in Long Cleave. Standing and intimidating four foot five inches tall, he is large enough to ride a horse. He crosses the river Norburn to engage the orcs in the region known as Greenfields. Bull Roarer Took charges the leaders of the orc invaders and with his club, he knocks off the head of the orc king, Golfin Bull. The orc head lands in a rabbit hole a hundred yards away. The orcs are completely dismayed by the death of their king and flee the Shire immediately. In the aftermath of this epic, although incredibly brief, battle, the orc invasions in Eriador cease, in large part thanks to losing their king. Eventually, the orc attacks on the region of Eriador stop altogether. Neither the Shire nor the whole of Eriador would suffer from any more invasions until the War of the Ring centuries later. Bull Roarer becomes a legend among the hobbits. He would be regarded as one of the greatest hobbit heroes in history. There wouldn't be another hobbit of such stature until a certain pair of halflings partake in a bit of drink from the Ents and go on to epic battles of their own. And of course, as legend would have it, Bull Roarer inadvertently invented the game of golf with the help of his club, a rabbit hole, and the head of the Orc King. If you want to be as big a hero as the mighty Bull Roarer, check out my brand new Patreon to find out how you can score some exclusive perks while also supporting the channel and helping me to bring even bigger and better things to you in the future. Support tiers start at just $1 and all funds go directly back into the channel. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Nerd of the Rings.